absolutely no idea. This was something we thought had been over. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. New tonight, the family of Deborah Pooley is speaking out ahead of her killer's parole hearing. In 1988, Gregory Wilson was sentenced to death for Pooley's murder, but former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin commuted his sentence right before he left office. Our Courtney King joins us live with the story you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. Trisha and Rob, we're live here at the historic Licking River District because this is where Deborah was living before she was killed. We spoke with her two nieces over Zoom earlier today from out of state uh, because they are living out of state and they are actually her only living relatives. They told us that they did not want to use their last names because they're afraid of what Gregory Wilson will do if he is released. And his parole hearing is scheduled for January 22nd. 36 years of pain for us. It's been a life sentence for us. Right now is a scary time for sisters Amy and Carrie. I'm scared, um, terrified actually, that the parole board may actually release Gregory Wilson. Their aunt's killer, Gregory Wilson, has his first parole hearing on Monday, January 22nd. We want to flood the parole board with emails um, asking that he not be released. Their aunt is Deborah Pooley. Wilson was convicted in 1988 for the 1987 kidnapping, killing, and rape of Deborah. Wilson was sentenced to death, but former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin commuted his sentence to life with the possibility of parole before he left office in 2019. The sisters say they were blindsided. Shocked, um, saddened, all the emotions. Um, never thought we would come to this day. My grandfather asked me before he died to like take this over, um, to follow the case and make sure that he never got out. The sisters were 12 and 15 when their Aunt Debbie was brutally taken from them. These are pictures of them with her. They say they still get emotional about it all these years later. It just was all very surreal. It, as a 15 year old, it seemed like something that happens to other people, not my family. So imagining her going through that torture and um, and pain and begging for her life, never ever imagined something this horrible would have happened to her. Although she died tragically, the women want people to know their Aunt Debbie was full of life. She was a popular server at a local restaurant when she was killed. She was happy, she was joyful. I mean, she really made an impact on a lot of people and was loved by so many. Yeah, she left a very big hole in our family. And Gregory Wilson had several appeals, but his sentence was upheld up until Governor Bevin commuted his sentence in 2019. Right now, there is a petition, Justice for Debbie, that has more than 6,600 signatures, and it's calling for Wilson to not get paroled. We do have a link to it on our website, fox19now.com, and our free mobile news app. We're live in Covington. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Courtney, thanks. New at 11.